Welcome back to Stock Labs Market Recaps. This one will be for the trading week that ended on October 22nd, Friday. Um, yeah, we didn't have this recap last week due to some technical difficulties that uh, appear to be resolved. So we are back. Um, yeah, so markets this week were not too bad, but also towards the end of the week, didn't really finish, didn't really close it out, you know, in a way that made it feel all that great. You know, the bulk of the weekly move came in the first two days. So Monday, Tuesday, and then the rest of the week sort of just ended up chopping around in um, the same sort of range. So not much follow through towards the end of the week. Um Let's check out just some of our Okay. So major ETFs, what do we have? S&P was up 1.7% almost. Um next highest were the Qs 1 and a half. The Dow was a little over 1%, 1.14. And small caps up a percent. So um, oil was again pretty strong after I think it had looked a little bit of a dip the week before, but um, still sort of chopping around these highs. And gold had sort of a rare uh, decent week. Well, it's been it's been okay very recently, but you know we're usually not seeing it towards the top of this list as far as. Uh, as far as performance goes and bonds are continuing to sort of slide. So um, we just have to keep an eye on them uh, going forward a little bit. And for our mega caps, as far as who really leads this market, Tesla and Netflix big weeks up uh, 8% for Tesla and almost 6% for Netflix and the rest. So Apple up 3%. That's a pretty strong week for Apple. Uh, Microsoft bounces back. Um, Facebook had that one rig real big down day with, um, you know, on the back of snap earnings and, um, and then Amazon and Google had soft weeks. So most likely Amazon and Google are going to bounce this week just because, you know, the combination of all these, you know, two or three spend a week being soft. And then the other, you know, there's like just rotation between, you know, these large stocks, you know, up 2% um, as a basket uh, for the total week. And industries, hmm. Industries don't look too bad, although it's not really, not really that exciting. You know, basic materials took the week off after being sort of a, you know, they've been a monster trade for the past few months. Um, healthcare getting whacked again, uh, it's sort of a recurring theme. Like we talk about technology, you know, middle of the pack, you know, this is not a great week for tech. Uh, or it wasn't a great week for tech. You know, this should, this usually you like to see it be more of a leader. And then consumer financials, same sort of, same sort of action. Industrials have had a good week and utilities and services round out the top three. As far as subsectors go, um, what's near the top here? So department stores, silver, top three. Um, but yeah, not really that strong of breadth. Uh, you know, we usually like to, you know, I usually mention how many of them are up over 5%, you know, on a medium basis. So this is median return. Um, and really the past several of these recaps, you know, there's about this many, you know, five, six, five, six, seven, you know, that have, greater than 5% returns. Um, although on the downside, there's nothing that's sticking out too badly, you know, negative 5% or worse. I mean, aluminum, I don't know, whatever happened to that this week, it was down 10%. And, um, 
you know, random things, you know, advertising agencies just down 7%. Um, but yeah, the rest you can see is actually pretty strong. Actually on the downside, you know, the downside sort of starts disappearing very quickly. We get, you know, close to unchanged. Um, yeah, so 50, so it was only 55 down sectors out of, uh, you know, a lot more than that. Uh, not going to count. Them. So not too bad of, not too bad of breadth um, as far as things dropping, but also kind of hard to find um, a wide range of leadership at the moment. Um, you know, we come in here and we look at how the performance was uh, by market cap. And let's see, one to five billion, we've got up 80 bips almost. And five to 10 billion, 1.6%. And 10 to 50 billion, 1.9%. These numbers seem kind of high, but 1.93% for mega caps. And terra caps, 1.7%. So terra caps were right in line with SPY. I think that was 1.68% uh, if I remember from the other screen. Um, so yeah, everything above 5 billion cap, you know, pretty strong week. Um, you know, 1.6-ish percent to all the way up to 1. Point, what was it, 1.9 for... Uh, mega caps, if I remember right. Yeah, 1.93. So, um, you know, pretty uniform and pretty strong. So you got, you know, kind of lines up. We got a bounce or we extended, we extended the rally this week a bit, but, you know, it was sort of, like I mentioned, was sort of front loaded with, uh, um, the timing, you know, Monday, Tuesday, pretty strong. And then the rest of the week, just flatline. Um, as far as intelligence goes with what we can look forward to in the final trading week of October. Um, okay. So these are ETFs rated bullish for the next five days, oil and gas, uranium, energy, energy, oil and gas, XLE is energy. Uh, okay, cloud computing and green energy. Okay, so, you know, according to this, I mean, some of it's redundant because a lot of these ETFs are pretty correlated with each other. But, um, yeah, you see them all on here. It, you know, I guess it's going to be energy week. Uh, I'm going to reverse this just to see. Okay, so what's rated bearish? Socks S bear semis. Um, this is inverse big banks. This is I don't know. This is inverse fang. This is inverse mid caps. This is gold miners and yeah, the energy stuff. So the only thing that the only things that are rated bearish ETF wise um, are bear ETFs, which should set up for a pretty bullish week. Um, you know, it could be bullish across the board because if semi, you know, if semis and fang are running, then you get all the energy stuff running. I mean, it's hard to imagine what's going to be down in the market. Um, so pretty good setup for the final week of. October again. We when we entered October, we mentioned this um, this um, seasonality. You know, we started to start picking up for an end of year run in October, which has you know pretty much happened. Um, you know, the meet or the average return is um, 
you know, 1.6%, which I think we're way above. I think we're way above that. So you can look at it two ways is that the, you know, the actual average return doesn't matter as much. Just the fact that, you know, you, you have a bullish month and you want to just press the, um, you know, press longs into month end, or you look at this and say, okay, average return is 1.6. So we're already way above that. You know, we're going to have to fall back, uh, fall back in the final week to sort of bring this, bring this in line with, you know, more historical, um, historical performance. You know, again, this is like 30 years of data. Um, although any one, any one instance can, you know, really be anything. So there's no reason to think that you have to be anchored to this number. Um, okay. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, we did add, I will say, I mean, this isn't really a recap thing, but this is, um, new to stock labs. We've got all the, not all, but we've got a lot of, uh, crypto in here. Um, you know, all the main stock labs algorithms are applied to, you know, the coin. So we're tracking all their performance, logging all their stats and everything you can trade off this stuff. So, um, if you haven't checked out, um, using the, using some of these tools on crypto, uh, you can give that a shot. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that was it. Uh, that was the only thing I was going to mention. Um, our oscillator is sort of trending down for the last couple weeks, or is this a couple weeks, 14th to 22nd. So, okay. That's like the last week and ish week ish. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we like to see this you know, get oversold, then we can, um, then we can get a clearer picture of how we want to move going forward. So yeah, finish, we're going to finish out October here, go into Halloween. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the market doesn't scare everybody, you know, in the month end, but you know, it could, so we'll just deal with it. Uh, all right. So glad to be back doing recaps and, uh, we'll catch you all next week. Talk to you later.